Hello and welcome to my third video. I was only going to do two originally, but I've been listening to a podcast by a a very prominent psychologist at the moment, and he he started talking about Pareto's principle, and it got me thinking. I was like, I want to put out a video on the spectrum of value. Now this may go over some people's heads. Um, essentially. What I mean by that is the spectrum of prices that will be put up by both buyers and sellers. And a lot of people say to me, like, Sean, your prices are all over the place. And I'll say, well, yes, because it's there's a thing called a spectrum of value. A buyer wants to get the cheapest price possible when a seller wants to maximize profits. Usually. I'm... I'm middle of the road so there's another video I'll put out at a later date maybe not today uh, because I've got lots to do but there's a dance between the buyers and sellers with different market forces at play and you will find that if I let's take a one ounce coin for example at the moment I've recently been selling one ounce coins for say 15 pounds plus postage uh, so if you buy 10, the average cost per coin goes down. If you buy one, you're actually paying quite a substantial amount because I charge 250 for first class signed for. So 17.50 compared to say um, 20 pence, uh, we're talking 15, 20 a coin. And in some cases I give free delivery depending on quantity and how much custom you put my way. So. There's a spectrum already there, and everyone is entitled to haggle. Like, it's only during the past, say, 20 years or so, where everything has had a fixed price. Oh, it's perceived to have a fixed price, but this isn't true. Like, I spent a lot of my my time working in a supermarket, and the prices change daily. They'll go around and they'll have people when they'll constantly change the price. And this is to do with the cost of how much they are paying for it. Sometimes it's just greed. <laughs> You know, they do it because they can get away get away with it. So if I was to price my coins at say seventeen fifty plus post, I wouldn't sell many coins. I'd make a high margin, but I wouldn't sell many. And say so I bring it down to seventeen plus post, I'll sell a few more. I bring it down to sixteen fifty plus post, I'll sell even more. And the the further along the spectrum I go, the more I sell. There's less benefit to me to keep dropping. So fifteen pound is I I have a calculation that I use which will be spot plus X amount. So each week I try and update it. I I'm not at the stage where I can track live prices. It's a lot of money to do that. I don't even have a website at the moment. I'm purely Facebook and very very small minority is on forums and and eBay, but majority is is Facebook. So if I get down to £15 an ounce, on some weeks I can sell a lot. I'll sell a lot of ounces. I can do maybe 200 in a week. That's happened before. If I drop it down to £14 an ounce, I'll sell even more. But there's less in it for me. I've still got overheads to cover. I've still got loan repayments to make. And I, I still want to make a bit of bread myself. You know, The buyer does the same. The buyer will look at £17 an ounce and say, it's a bit pricey. He will look at the other market forces and he will go somewhere else because realistically he can get it cheaper or there will be an opportunity where he's in a position to get it cheaper. For example, maybe there's another dealer, maybe he's holding out for spot for us to drop and that's his prerogative. The further up the price spectrum he goes, the less he's inclined to sell and there will be an equilibrium point where I will sell X amount and I'll make X amount, but it will be the most I can make for the time being. And this will change, for example, if I grow and if I have other sales outlets, maybe I'll fiddle around with how much profit I will take depending on if I have to go and hunt for the stock or if I have a supply line set up. So say, for example, I have automatic ordering in place, but also automatic selling. I'm happy to take less of a margin because less of my time is being taken up. Now, if you look at the big guys, 
the, the big guys won't will have different prices. They they will price differently for customers. Let's take for example Atmex. Um, Atmex will price it more expensively if they're selling one because that will be to a retail customer or if they're selling 10,000 because that will be to a business customer the the pricing mechanism is is completely different now what you can do to get better value is bring something to the table so for example if someone wants to trade with me they will probably get more value out of me their average cost depending on how they account for the transaction will will be lower than if they're paying in cash terms if you want to say to me Sean I can help you out in the future I'm more inclined to come down on the price if for example they say Sean I want to buy a hundred ounces then I'm more inclined to go down on the price you know so yeah I I often talk to people and I say to them it's like you the the value spectrum is based upon the players who are, are entered into the fray so if on one end you've got Atmex, Atmex has a lot of costs associated with it so they will put that into the price if you go to eBay you're talking an extra 10 plus 3 percent that's added into the price if you go to uh, a dealer uh, a small dealer you they will add what costs they have into the price and they'll be paying more per unit but they will be more flexible with their price if you go to a dealer such as me then I typically do a big order and I separate it out and I'm closer to the price of spot than the rest of these guys that's that's how I make my markup and then you go to individual peer-to-peer -peer sales and the price should be even more competitive if for example there's a person who's liquidating or is has a fire sale so value is all about timing it's all about what you bring to the table and ultimately it's it's all about your skills as a negotiator when dealing with the latter part of the spectrum that I've just spoken about if you're a good negotiator you will make more money or you will have more coin for your buck than if you're a poor negotiator because a poor negotiator will just go straight to eBay or straight to one of the big dealers they're attracted towards this type of this end of the market if you're a good negotiator you will go to peer-to-peer -to -peer or you go to the small time dealers where you can actually get a better price you can't go to Atmex you put five thousand pound on the table they'll laugh at you they're like who cares you know if you go to a dealer who such as myself or the dealers that I talk to they're they're young and they're hungry. Uh, they're young dealers, not not young in age, but they're hungry because they usually have a job, or they're not quite full time. They will talk. They will sit down. They will talk. They will look at their numbers and say, "Okay, I can make money on this. I can reinvest this markup into more product. Or I can pay down credit, and they will deal with you." So the spectrum of value depends on how good you are and what you expect from it. Now, it works both ways. So, if you're a buyer, it's all done about negotiation. You make your money on the buying. If you're a seller, you will price near the, the dominant force in the market. So, for example, if Atmex is selling on eBay for £20 a coin, you should be pricing at maybe 19 50 a coin. You want to come underneath them. You don't have the same stature that they do as an individual. But you can kind of hang on their coattails and still sell your product for a good price. So that's a little little nugget of information that this is what I do. This is I do this day in, day out. I negotiate and then I I try and be the value buyer and I want to increase my margins by being a good seller. I want to be up the, the higher end. I'm not at the stage where I get to dictate prices when I sell but I get to dictate prices when I buy and that's where you want to be as an individual and that's how you are going to maximize your investment if this is an investment for you